Hey everyone! So I'm going to do my April favorites video. I'm sorry if this lighting isn't great. I'm in my bedroom. My bedroom doesn't have great lighting. I tried to open my glass door behind me and uh, get some more light, but it doesn't have great lighting. I already had everything in here and I didn't feel like moving it around. I only had to bring like a few things in here because I keep my makeup in here. And so I didn't want to like move it all in the other room. I was kind of lazy. <laughs> so anyway, sorry if the lighting's not great. I hope it is though. Um, I'm just going to jump right in. Alright, so I have a lot of like makeup-y favorites this month. Um, for starters, the new um, Maybelline Color Tattoo Summer Collection just came out. There's a whole bunch of different ones. I have three of them. Um, I'm only going to show you two of my favorites because one of them is like that mint color and I like it, but I don't love it. It's like, it's a little bit um, harder to build up. It's not as opaque, but I do like it. But two of the ones that I love in that collection are Blue Paradise. It's just like this really pretty like blue. It's like a bright blue and it has like shimmers of like gold and like pink and purple in it. It's so pretty. And then the um, white one, the Waves of White. It's like a white base but it has like pink and purple and green like kind of colors throughout it. It's so so pretty. So these are gorgeous. They're the new summer collection and those two are like my very favorites out of that collection. Um, my Daisy by Marc Jacobs Perfume, just the original one. I know that they just came out with a newer one, but this one's still pretty full, so I'm not going to buy that one. Um, but I just love this. It's like a really, really fun um, summer scent, and I just love the little cap. It's just very fruity, very flowery, just really, really nice, and I just really like it a lot. Um, I finally caved. Everyone's been talking about these little boogers, and I finally got one. It's the Beauty Blender. I was at Sephora, and they... They had them, and they're like 22 bucks, so they're kind of expensive, but I love this thing. It's kind of dirty because I use it all the time. I was like, I use my brushes like crazy, and then as soon as I got this, I stopped using my brushes, and I started, whoo, sorry, my hair was doing some funky stuff. Um, I, start, I stopped using my brushes, and I like <laughs> started using this all the time, and I just, I love it. I still love my brushes to death, but this thing is so, so nice. I just, I love it. Um... Another thing I've been loving is my Naked Basics palette. Everyone's been talking about this. I've had this for about two months. I just kind of wanted to use it for a while before I talked about it. But I love this palette. It's I'm just going to cover the mirror so it doesn't blind you guys. But the shades are just beautiful and matte. There's only like one kind of like satiny shimmer shade and the rest are matte. And oh my gosh, I use this thing all of the time. It's just so nice. And it's not too big. It's pretty small. And so you can throw it in like a bag or something pretty easily. My lighting is just, oh, maybe that's a little better, sorry. Um, but yeah, I really, 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 really love this. Um, this is a newer product that I got. I needed a new bronzer. I ran out of my old one, so I decided to try out the um, Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. And the packaging is just gorgeous. I just love, Tarte is like my favorite brand. I love Tarte. And then like the inside, it looks like this with a mirror. I'm not going to blind you with that. And it's just like a really pretty matte bronzer. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm extremely fair and it is perfect on me. I love it. So the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I'm going to try to move this a little bit maybe. Okay, maybe it's a little brighter. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that bronzer a lot. Another thing I kind of gave into trying... Um, is the Dior Lip Glow. This thing is so expensive, but I really wanted to try it. There's so much hype about it. And basically what it is, it's just like, kind of like a pink um, a pink lip balm. You put it on your lips, and it kind of just makes your lips a little bit better than what they are. Like, it will just kind of go, it's going to look different on everybody. It's going to kind of make everyone's lips um, look better type thing, and it just puts a little bit of pink into your lips. It's so beautiful. Um, like a lip balm. It's a color reviver balm. So I really, really like this a lot. I don't know if I'd, you know, want to buy it all the time. This will last me for a really long time, I think, but it is kind of expensive. It was like $30, but I really, really love it. It's it's a really awesome product, and it smells really good. Um, another thing by Tarte is their BB cream. I decided to get their BB cream. This is in light and I love it. It's a really great BB cream. I'm like just about out of it, so I thought I'd hurry and mention this before I ran out. Um, I'll probably get another one next time just because I like to try out a whole bunch of different ones, but I really, really, really love this. I would definitely repurchase this in the future for sure. Um, another favorite is the Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer. This is in the color Warm Tan, and this is just um, 
like a cream bronzer. It's very, very similar to the Chanel Universal Bronzer. Um, and I really, really love it. I use it to kind of contour right here. And it's it's really, really nice. I love it. I use it with um, my MAC. This is the MAC um, 130 brush. Just this like little chiseler right here. And I really, really like it. So it's a great, it's a great product. Um, this is my next favorite. This is the Hourglass Ambient Powder in Dim Light. Um, oh my gosh, these are just beautiful. Um, you can see me. Hi! <laughs> um, these are so pretty. This is what it looks like. It has like a mirror on the inside. And then it just kind of looks like this. And I don't use this as a setting powder. I use this after my setting powder just to kind of like soft focus my face a little bit. And it's just absolutely beautiful. These are really expensive too, but I think that it will last me a really long time. So I really, really like it. I think these were like $45 at Sephora, but I really, really love it. And my last makeup favorite is my Z palette. I got the Z um, For You palette and I just put some eyeshadows in. I had some of my Urban Decay um, eyeshadows from the Wizard of Oz collection. I had the Glinda palette and the Theodora palette. I took some of my favorite colors from that and then I also took like some Makeup Geek shadows that I got and some of my like steel ones and stuff and I just like made a really pretty palette and it's magnetic and I just love this thing. It's so nice. So I'm definitely going to get a few more of these Z palettes for like blushes and stuff so I can depot other stuff. But I really, really love it. It's been a huge favorite of mine. Um, let's see. The other ones. This notebook. I have been using it like crazy. I just got this at Walmart. I'm always using notebooks. I'm always running out of notebooks. I always buy them. I just write like everything in them and I don't know. I love it. It's so fun. It's fun for summer. My favorite show right now is Castle. I love it. I'm on season three of Castle and it's just so good. I just, I love that show. It was like a 2006 show, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm on season three and I just absolutely love it. Um, my favorite game on my phone right now is called um, Fairway Golf. It's like a card game and it's golf. So you can either go a card above or a card below of what's out. Oh, it's so fun. It's called um, Fairway. I'll put everything I'm mentioning in the down bar below and I'll put like the game and everything so you guys could go check it out. It's so fun. So I've been loving that. And just quickly, let me just do a few of my kids' favorites. For Aubrey, I bought her these like little cute sandals for summer from the children's place. And they are so cute. They're just so sparkly and multicolored, so they'll pretty much go with anything. And she hates the thongs, like the ones that go in between her toes, the flip-flop things. She hates those. So I just got her a pair of these. And the she's in size 5 now. What? So cute little summery shoes. And then also her favorite, like my favorite diaper for her right now is just the free time diaper from Bum Genius. This is one of them that I have. But I love this diaper so much because... It's like an all-in-one. You don't have to stuff it or anything. It just comes with like attached little things to it. And then you just fold it up and you put it on. And I just absolutely love it. She's on like the second to last setting. So I love these diapers. I wish I would have gotten way more of these when I first started because these are amazing. You don't have to stuff them. They're so easy. Love them. Um, the kids have... Oh, Connor's um, things that he's been loving. He's been loving the shows um, Spider-Man. He's like super into Spider-Man right now. And he's been loving Bobby's World on Netflix. So those are his two little favorite shows right now. Um, both of the kids have been loving Teddy Grahams. This is just the um, original flavor, the honey flavor. But they also really like the chocolate ones and the chocolate chip ones. So Teddy Grahams have just been really fun. And then also popsicles, just like those little popsicles that you break apart that have two. Um, just, they love popsicles. After they eat lunch and dinner, I'll usually give them one. They just love it. And yeah, that's my favorites. So I hope you guys could see me okay. Sorry about this really crappy lighting. <laughs> Hopefully next time it will be better. And I will talk to you all later. Bye!